Hello, I'm Rosie. I'm going to show you how to crochet a stretchy ribbed bandeau top. You can customize this top to any size and length and you can also use different colors, different types of yarn and even add straps. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button and you can subscribe for more how-to videos. To make the top, we'll be constructing a tube made up of rows of half double crochet and rows of slip stitch. This will be done into the back loop only. That way we can create a fabric which is stretchy. I'll be using DK weight cotton yarn for this tutorial. You can also use acrylic. Here you can see I've made two tubes. The top one is acrylic and the bottom one is cotton yarn. The acrylic version is much more elastic, which makes it easier to get on and off. However, the cotton yarn would be better for a hot day. It's up to you which one you use, but I found that the acrylic version is more comfortable and stays up better on its own without straps. For this tutorial, I'll be using US terminology. I'll put the stitches we'll be using and the supplies you'll need on the screen. If you'd like an estimated amount of the yarn you'll need for the size you're making, I'll leave the link to my website with the info in the description. Start by working out how long you want your bandeau top to be. You'll need to add on two inches to this measurement to be on the safe side. This is because when you stretch the top, it will get shorter on your body. To begin, take your yarn and create a slip knot. Then make the required number of chains until you reach the length that you want your top to be. Once you've made your chain and it's the desired length, chain two more and then into the second chain from the hook do a half double crochet. And continue doing half double crochets into each chain until you reach the end of the row. To do a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull for a loop, and then pull through all three loops. Once you reach the end of the row, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to do a row slip stitch along the top of this row, but we're only going to do it into the back loop only. So the top of your stitches will have a V. We're just going to go into one leg of a V, the one which is furthest away from us. And we're going to make a slip stitch as usual. And then you'll just need to continue doing these slip stitches into the back loop of every stitch until you reach the end of the row. When you reach the end of a row, make sure that you slip stitch into the very final stitch. It can be easy to miss this one. This is what the finished row will look like. Next, we're going to do a row of half double crochet into the back loop only. So chain two and turn your work. And then do a half double crochet into the back loop of your slip stitch. You may need to angle your work a little bit differently than usual so that you can clearly see the top of your stitch. Continue doing half double crochets into the back loop of your slip stitches 
all the way until the end of the row. Continue by alternating rows of half double crochet and slip stitch in for back loop only until you have a long rectangle which is the desired length that you need. The easiest way to work out the length is to wrap it around your body until it just stretches across your chest. If you're making this for someone else, you can measure their chest at the widest point and then stretch out your fabric until it just matches the length of that. We're now ready to join the ends of our piece and make it into a tube. Line up the edges of your work. You can choose to secure them with stitch markers to make this part easier. Um, and then to join, we're going to chain one and join the two pieces with a row of slip stitches. This can be a bit fiddly, so take your time on this part. Start by inserting your hook into the very first stitch on one side, then pull through your yarn and make your slip stitch, then insert your hook into the next stitch on the side closest to you, and then into the stitch opposite. Pull through your yarn to make the slip stitch, then just continue slip stitching along the row. Take your time with this to make sure you don't skip any stitches and you have a nice even seam at the end. Now we've got a nice secure seam, so you can go ahead and fasten off your yarn, weave in your ends and you'll have a stretchy tube which you can wear as a bandeau top. You can also add straps and add a fun trim if you would prefer. I hope you enjoyed making this top with me. If you did like this video and would like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel for crochet tutorials. Have a great day.